Breaking news. Nigerians have been speaking and reactions has trailed what Shegun Shogunmi asked Tinubu to his face, which caused a stare and a serious, if you call it embarrassment, I, I don't know what to say. I, I think that's the right word to put, you know, to nail it on the head. He asked Tinubu, you know, uh, to his face, are you physically well to rule Nigeria? Shegun Shogunmi asked Tinubu. So, I mean, this is a, a guy who um, um, has come to Tinubu and said, you know what, let's call a spade a spade. Let's, let's, cut, let's cut the chase here. You've been going around making consultation, but let's be honest. Are you physically well, fit enough to rule Nigeria? Let's hear Tinubu's response. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Are you well? And physically fit to rule Nigeria, Shegu Shonwumi asked Tinubu to his face. Shegu Shonwumi, a former aide of former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, has sought to know whether the national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, Chief Bola Tinubu, is physically fit to carry out the tax, enormous tax, of being Nigerian's president. He said he was concerned about Tinubu's well-being, especially when he recalled that the nation lost former President Maru Musa Yaradua while in office, and bearing in mind the manner in which the incumbent President Muhammad Buhari has been traveling to the United Kingdom for medical attention. The People's Democratic Party chieftain, in his 70th birthday message to Tinubu on Tuesday, said, it is only Tinubu who can answer the question, and I would like to get an answer from him about his physical fitness and health condition to rule the nation Nigeria in today's 21st century at this fast pace of things. Why educating to the fact that it is the alignment right for Tinubu to aspire to be president? He can aspire if he wants. Shogumi mentioned that he was some about wondering about his well-being and the fact that other southern states aside from the southwest deserves to be president too. Can you, can your physical well-being and wellness carry the enormous tax in the light of the challenges facing the country? In the light of the walls that are broken down and the bridges that need amendment? And the building trust in governance against the popular narrative now ongoing. The Ogun governorship aspirant confirmed knowing that former Lagos State Governor mental capacity for the job. If he is fit, he needs to reply me personally. However, concerned about the well-being, I know I have the mental capacity for the job. He has said some time ago, but he is asking for Tinubu's response himself. The question can only be answered by yourself, Your Excellency, Senator Tinubu. He asks of the well-being and the state of his health if he can cope with the challenges. Our immediate past history mm -hmm. with you have shown how things have been. A former president has been lost due to ill health and concerns were raised during his campaign. But Olusegwa Basanjo paid no attention and he later died before the administration could be over. We are not say, say, citing the same faith for you. We are only saying, is it wise for you to carry on this tax or look after your health? So this is the question being posed at Ashwajwa made Bola Tinubu to decide for himself to make a real decision on whether he wants to uh, concentrate on looking after his health or he wants to um, lobby and lobby around to see and to you know you know um, have that discussions you know where people are here and there saying oh you don't want me you want me uh, it is because of what you want and so on and so forth. You know, so the questions remain. Tinubu, are you physically fit? And the young man is asking for answers from Tinubu. You see, not his supporters. He says he wants Buhari, um, he wants Tinubu himself, I beg your pardon, to answer the question. He said Tinubu knows the answer to the question. It's not enough for you to say you want to be Nigerian's president. What exactly are you doing? 
how exactly are you you know relating these things because the truth must be told to every one of us you see and we must stop you know this this you know this dilly dally and then um, this uh, thing that is going on we must finally come to a position of truth and tell it as it is we must stop beating around the bush there is need for us all to rise up to the occasion and say no to the current you know oppressive situation going on you know as, as a matter of fact nigeria is in that state now where we we are neither here nor there we don't even know what's going on everybody wants to be president everybody look at the number of people how many of them truly have a heart for the nation how many of them truly are speaking for the nation how many of them truly sincerely speaking are ready and are making up their minds to say where do we go from here Okay, how do we start? What is the very, what's the very first point of call? Uh, what, where, do, where do we start from? What, are, what, is the, what is the analysis? Okay, how bad are things? And how can we begin to resuscitate them? You know, there are no clear map, map out, cut, you know, definition on where to go next. Yet they want to lead. Yet everybody wants to get to a particular position. And the truth of the matter is, it's all about the money all about the money and nothing about leadership and nothing of, i mean politicians as it were they, they don't mean well for this country i must be sincere with you these politicians most of them mm -mm, mm -mm. there is nothing called sincerity with them most of them are just after what they will get is me myself and i most of them most of them if not all of them so it is it is a wake-up call for every one of us to stand up to the occasion and to refuse the constant oppression be stared at us you you don't you, you don't support them then they will try to intimidate you we must wake up from there and we must begin to rise up we, we can't begin to vote politicians or party we can't be getting diving into their, their 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 political rancor here and there we must be at some point we need to form our own our own political party and put things in place 2023 is around the corner and guess what INEC has gone to do They've gone to ensure that they seal it so much so that Nigerians cannot even come up with a new party that we counter and Nigerians will stand for and say, let us, let us call a spade a spade. Leave us a, a, a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Okay, we'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye.